Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how to plot Nyquist plot and how to enhance visualization using origin step by step. So let's start it. First, open the Excel sheet so that we can open our data. To open our data set, click on file and open. Click on browse. I save my data on the desktop and EIS data folder. Make sure you select this option as all files so that our data will be visible here. So let me select the data set first and open it. In the data set, we have to apply the delimiters. So we will choose here delimited and click on the next button. And we have here different delimiters but so that we can separate tab, semicolon, comma and space. Hit the next button and finish it. So this is our data. You can select the second column and third column so generally in Nyquist plot the x-axis is real impedance and y-axis is imaginary impedance so let's select it copy and we will paste this data into origin so I'm opening now origin software and we will see how we can do the Nyquist plot and enhance more visualization let's paste the data into origin select both column and plot line plus symbol curve this looks uh, reverse so in order to correct it click on y-axis and we just have to reverse this value so this minus 6000 will go here and here it is 400 so this is corrected Nyquist plot to make it frame click on view show and frame option so this is our legend we can keep it here now we have to see very interesting option in the origin that is layer contents we can access this layer content option from here you can click top left corner this indicated here either you can click two times or you can right click and access the layer content option so basically this layer content option is very useful when you have to plot multiple data set in, into single single graph so let's see how we can use this so again i will open my second data set i will do the same process file open and i will open my second data set into the excel sheet Again, I will use the same process and let's copy and paste this data into origin. So I'm going to paste it here and to add extra column, we have to click on column, add new column. So I need two extra columns, so I will add two and once you added the column make sure that you have assigned this column as x so to make it x we have to click on set as and x and let's 
paste our data here now go to the graph and using this option right click go to layer contents and here is your window so this bold one represents this data set is already plotted into the graph and this unbold is our second data set to add this second data set into the graph we can click on this and using this right direction arrow we can transfer this second data set to our graph so here is our second data set and click on ok button now we can see how we can enhance the visualization so first of all i will select the y axis range so that our second data plot will be visible in, into the graph so for that click on scale and i will make it here 30000 so it will be clearly visible and x axis is will make it 11000 all right so from zero and y axis is also from zero hit the ok button so this is our legend now let's start improving the visualization first of all i will divide both x axis and y axis by thousand so that i can express my impedance unit in kilo oven okay so let's do that click on x axis and divide factor let's divide this axis by thousand and similarly the y axis thousand and apply once this is done now let's assign the axis name the x axis is your real impedance z dash in kilo ohm to add ohm symbol or any kind of symbol just right click and use the symbol map option so from here there are a lot of symbols you can use for different units so let me select the ohm symbol click on insert and ok similarly y axis is your imaginary impedance so this is gel double dash in kilo ohm symbol map ohm insert and that's it okay now to make it bold i can select this and using this option and using this option i can bold it and i can increase the font size to 48 let's do the similar thing with y-axis let's make it bold and increase the font size to 48 now the axis now we have to take care of the axis value so let's start with the x-axis and using format option you can increase the x-axis font size and you can make it bold so font size i will make it 48 and bold it and similar thing with the y-axis font size I will font size will be 48 and let's make it bold and apply so once this is done you can adjust the axis name and now let's increase axis line thickness to increase axis line thickness click on the axis line go to the line and then fix and line thickness from here you can increase to make it 4 and similar things with the y axis make it 4 
now the remaining is top and right so for top click on show line and ticks and line thickness you can make it 4 since top and right axis we don't need major and minor ticks so that so what we will do we will click on major ticks none and minor ticks also none and apply similar thing with the right axis okay so once this is done now let's assign name of the material so using this legend you can assign a name of material so for example i will assign the name of this first one is material one and second one is material two i can make it bold from here and also i can increase the font size using this option if you want to remove this frame just double click on this go to the frame and there are option so select none and ok so this is your necklace plot now let's click on the line plus symbol plot so that we can see what kind of different uh, colors we have what kind of symbols we, what what kind of symbols we have okay so to select the symbol click here so these are all types of symbols but my favorite symbol is this one so i have selected this symbol and let me make the size font size 12 and line width i will make it 4 similar thing with the second line width i will make it 4 and symbol also i will select it this one here i forgot to increase the symbol size so let me make it 12 and hit the ok button in order to distinguish two data set into single graph it is very important to assign the different color if it is different color we can easily distinguish ok the material one is belongs to this color and material second is belongs to red color so let's click on material 2 so we will select this and let's change the color red so now very easily we can distinguish material one is red and material two is black and in this way you can enhance the visualization in origin once we assign color to the data set now it's time to save this data so in order to save this data click on edit copy page and you can save into either in powerpoint presentation or your word file and here is our high quality nacus plot for publication if you have any question related to this please feel free to comment and i will be more happy to respond your query please don't forget to like subscribe and share with your friends and colleagues until then see you in the next video